joining me and Rob. We have Sarah Johnson with the Children's Home. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, thank you for having she, me You here. have really white teeth. Does she have you white teeth? You have really white teeth. Yes, and thank welcome you. to the show, white See, teeth. Thank you so much. Sarah, <laughs> Sarah Johnson is, is the development director for the Children's Home Society of Florida. That's an awesome responsibility for you to have. Hats off to you for being so involved. Oh, thank it. you. I, I absolutely love it. I, I can't imagine doing anything else. How well, long have you been there? Five years now. That's a long five time. Five years. Oh, really? Five years? That's quite, a, that's quite a stint right there, huh? Tell us a little bit about the uh, Children's Home Society of Florida, just in a general nice elevator speech. Well, we are one of the oldest and largest child welfare agencies in the state of Florida. Uh, we actually cover the state, but the division that I serve serves Tampa Bay, the Gulf Coast region. Um, in that region, we serve about 7,600 children and families a year wow. through about 10 different programs. And the most amazing thing about the division is we cover nine counties. So well, we have a huge geographic area. Um, that's probably one of the most challenging things that we face. That's fantastic. What services wow. do you offer I mean, at the, the and that's huge. Amount of, amount of driving and traffic. <laughs> it's a lot of driving um, and the gas is killing me oh. and our case managers. Um, but we, we provide an array of services. We have uh, facilities where children actually live when they've been removed from their homes due to some sort of abuse, abandonment, or neglect. Um, we do dependency case management, which basically means in so many words, our case managers are going in the homes and checking on the children. Um, foster care, adoption, volunteer programs. So any, anything for children to help children is what you guys pretty much cover. Pretty much. Wow. Is that like the Child Protective Services, or is that like a government entity, and you guys are really not, you're more of a privately funded? Exactly. We're a private agency, but our children come to us from the Department of Children and Families. And how do you, how do you guys generate revenue in order to be able to sustain? <laughs> That's Good <why> segue, <laughs> Rob. Oh, that was very smart of you. Slick, Thank Rob. You. You're welcome. <laughs> That's wow. why I have a job. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. it's, it's my job to make up the difference of the money that we receive through government contracts. Just to give you an idea, our operating budget's about $14 million per year. Um, oh, wow. We do not receive the amount of funding that we need to care for the children, so development is basically in place to make up that difference. Um, it's my personal responsibility to raise about $1.2 million a year to make sure our children are cared for. It must for. not be Fantastic. hard for you to do that, though. I mean, when you ever you ask people for money for children, people must open their wallets freely. <laughs> um, well, you know what? The challenging part is there's so much need in the community, Everywhere. whether it's children, Everybody's elderly. Exactly. It's, it's difficult. So it's, it's a fight. But you have something coming up, the Summer Blues Bash. Yes, what is that? we do. Um, it's on June 1st. It's going to be held at Skipper Smokehouse in Tampa. We're really excited. Um, we've got six different bands playing. Our headliner is Steady Rollin', Bob Margolin. And the amazing thing about all of our artists is they are all donating their services for the evening. So all the money raised is going to go to direct care for our kids. It's absolutely amazing. Well, who else is going to be there? We are going to have Ronnie Elliott, Dukes of Juke, uh, Sandy Atkinson, Revelation, Charlie Vegas and the new Blues Combo. Um, wow. Marvelous Marvin and Steve Purcell are going to be hosting the event I'm seeing. So um, we've got a great lineup and we're, we're really excited. What other, besides the Summer Blues Bash, and I don't want to confuse the message that you're trying to get everybody out there uh, so we're going to go through the dates again and websites and how they can donate and help you. But what other things do you do throughout the year that help, you know, sustain your organization? Well, we, we do different fundraising events. Okay. Um, that's something we're focusing on. Um, we have a board of directors that... Uh, volunteers all of their time to help us get our name out into the community. Uh, we do a huge back to school drive where we collect backpacks and supplies for our kids. Um, we do holiday efforts as well. Um, the holidays can be oh, that's uh, brutal. Really, I know. It's hard waking up in a shelter. Um, yeah. Yeah, any imagine. day, but especially during the magical time of year for our kids. And, and when we do ask them, we ask them what they'd like, and we try and make that happen. Um, I remember the first time I asked, I should have known what I was getting into, but I asked one of our little girls, Danielle, what she wanted for Christmas. And um, she just said, Sarah, I really want my mom and my dad and my brother and my sister. Ooh. And oh, that was one tough. thing I couldn't put under the tree, you know. Oh, oh that's tough. That's a tough one. 
That's a how tough can one. people get involved? How can people get more information about the and summer, the summer com- blues, bash. blues bash? And how can people donate? Um, go to our website. It's chsfl.org, Children's Home Society of Florida. Um, also call us at 813-740-4266. Um, there's so many ways to get involved. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to open your checkbook. Everybody's struggling right now. but um, Volunteer. Volunteering, exactly. Sure, sure, sure. Coming into our shelters and providing our kids with that one-on-one attention that they Time. need. Time. Absolutely, or in-kind items. Um, if you're moving and you have some extra furniture that's in good shape, Sorry. trust me, we can use it. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, point. thank you very much. Please get out to Skipper's Smokehouse next Sunday. Is that yes. June 1st? Yes. And, and, and you'll have a great time, and you'll get to see all these wonderful bands. Thank you, you for coming to, out, Sarah. Pleasure, and you get to contribute to the health and wealth of our community in a wonderful way. Thank you so much for being joining you. us tonight. Thank you.